This tutorial will show you how to use the remote emission spectrometer at the Nanslow lab. The first thing that you'll want to do after logging into the system is to join the voice conference so that you can talk to your classmates and to the lab technicians who are there in the lab to help you. To join the voice conference, click the yellow button at the bottom of the screen. You may have to scroll down to see that. Once you've clicked it, you'll see a pop-up window that has information about how to join the voice conference. Copy the web address that's listed there and paste it into a new browser window. And then follow these instructions in order to join the voice conference. Once you're in the voice conference, you can either use your telephone to dial the number and enter the access code that is listed on the screen, or you can choose to use your microphone and speakers on your computer and not use your phone minutes. Next, you'll want to take control of the interface by right-clicking and then selecting Request Control of VI. Once you have control, then all of the buttons on the screen will respond to input. When you press the Start button, you begin a data feed from the spectrometer. You can see the spectrometer itself by panning left a little bit and from the home screen and it is sitting just to the left of this row of emission lamps. The presets allow you to quickly access various parts of the apparatus. As you can see from the tip strip that pops up when you hover over the gray area with the preset buttons in it. Preset 1 We'll zoom in on lamp A, etc. In order to view the spectrum of one of the lamps, click on the corresponding button at the bottom of the screen. The screwdriver robot will then position the fiber optic cable in front of the lamp that you've selected and turn the lamp on. You can see that the spectrum is being, re being measured here and you can zoom in to see the lamp itself. The lamp status is shown as on and the timer counts to the preset value of 60 seconds. If you wish to change this to up to 250 seconds you can do so here with this field. If you change this to 65 seconds, for example, the next time you select a lamp, it will run for 65 seconds. The fiber optic cable may not be exactly in front of the lamp, so to get the maximum spectrum, you may need to use the nudge left and nudge right buttons to reposition the lamp slightly. You can see that moving it left gives us a stronger signal. If the lamp goes out while you're doing this, you'll have to turn it on again by clicking the same letter that you clicked to start with. Unfortunately, it also moves it back to its initial position. Looks like we've got the maximum spectrum signal here, so now we can zoom out by selecting the center control button here for the spectrum and the lower left control, which shows us the entire spectrum at maximum scale. If you wish to zoom in on a particular portion of the spectrum, select this tool in the upper left corner and then draw a box on the screen around what you want to look at. To find the exact wavelength, enable the cursor button and then select the cursor control button so that you can grab it and move it around the spectrum. This will show you in the wavelength field the 
location in nanometers of that peak and the intensity will be reflected here.